Google says it's Wednesday, May 10, 2023. It's kind of a rainy day here in Little Rock. I have just scooped up a bunch of mosquito larvae. Not big ones. These are several days going, but not grown yet. Usually takes five to seven days, maybe even longer in some temperatures and conditions. But this is so fun to watch. Sorry I didn't clean the glass. But I haven't made one of these videos in a bit. So we're going to watch the convicts and guppies annihilate. That's what convicts and guppies do, is they annihilate stuff. Cichlids in general annihilate stuff. Sorry for the reflection, but yeah, there are probably 10 convict juveniles. They were inserted into this tank as fry, so small that I wasn't sure they were going to survive the guppies. At this point, the convicts have taken over. The guppies need to move out because they're no longer successfully reproducing. You can probably imagine why. And we're just kind of aggravating that problem by honing their um, hunting skills. But this tank is, it's a 29 gallon I used to call this my India biotope tank. This was, once upon a time, this was tank B because it's in my son B's room. Uh, I no longer have an entire alphabet plus some of aquariums. I have three or four that are up and running, four, I guess, and a bunch of little nano systems, window jars, simple things quite a few tubs and ponds outside but only four aquariums so definitely down a good deal um, this as of December last year this place is no longer really operating as not bad at all tropical farm we are operating as hobby and this it was one of those things. This is, um, I gave away 20 something aquariums uh, in late December 2022. And this is just one that I kept. And the main reason I kept it is because this is my son's tank, not mine. And it's evolved quite a bit. Years past, I'm going to say 2019 and 2020, we had this running as an Indian biotope for dwarf garamis. And at some point, we lost all of our dwarf garamis rather quickly. Um, we had a water circulation problem, and a pump failed. It was really quiet, and I didn't recognize that it had failed. I started noticing a, a film, a layer, very low in the tank. Like, if you were to look down low at this angle you could see sort of a, a haze and forgive me for having diatoms on the glass so yeah brown diatoms on the inside of the glass I don't clean tanks for other people to see and view I just try to have them healthy and running and that's just another surface that microbiology can grow on so I, I rarely scrape the glass when I do try to deal with diatoms all I do is get a razor blade and remove them from that surface. I don't use any kind of you know, doctor in a bottle products or death rays. Those are bad. If you didn't know, this is a game of keeping biology alive and you usually don't successfully do that by poisoning things until some of the stuff dies but others don't. That's usually just a bad idea in biology in general. It's a bad idea in your garden. It's a bad idea in your aquarium. This is a live soil capped by sand, pool filter sand. This tank just happens to be capped by gravel as well. And that does something kind of nice. It, for one, keeps the bottom looking a bit cleaner than a normal what I would call a Wallstead 2.0 or Father Fish style tank. In here, the substrate actually captures some of the dirt. You can see the gravel catches the dirt, so we've got a really dark layer there. Then it's clean. It's going to take, gosh, it might take a full year for nutrient to appear 
to make it down there if it does before it's used by other things but this tank and others it's going to be aided by um, Malaysian trumpet snails I say that but I don't actually see any in here right now um, the tracks that they usually leave are not as present in this tank as they have been in the past those are root tracks right there as opposed to Malaysian trumpet snail tracks but somewhere along here there are trumpet snails, but they bury in the substrate. I may just not be looking at them in the right time. Sometimes you can look in here and they're just all up doing the same thing, operating kind of in the same manner. The cichlids are really fun to watch, though. They're just really fun to watch. And I do believe I need to move this gut colony out. So I'll just have to make another tank for them. But convict cichlids are a blast if you've never had or kept cichlids of any type try some american cichlids they'll blow your mind it's it's their behavior and their mannerisms that are so special kind of like guppies i mean if guppies were just pretty people would still have them but they're so charming that's why they are a hobby favorite perennially convict cichlids are charming in a different way they're not puppy dogs like guppies. They're aggressive little chihuahuas compared to guppies. But uh, all the same, thanks for checking. Thanks for watching. I think we have mowed through the mosquitoes. That's something that we do frequently here at Not Bad Atoll Tropical Farm is, um, you know, we feed the skeeters to the fishies and watch that life stuff go on. Anyway, this tank, uh, actually, check it out. My Phoenix light is dead. So I picked this up from a friend, a, a local hobby friend. These were some cheapo Amazon grow lights. They didn't last probably six months or a year, and they stopped working entirely. The, the control unit failed. I don't know why I've still got them up there. This Phoenix light lasted longer than that. It's several years old, but it no longer functions at all. And, meh. So be it. That's the second of these that have died on my watch. So probably won't be buying any more of those. I will very likely look to... Now, my lighting sources, uh, one of two things. First off, I try and have a dawn to dusk lamp on any of my tanks. As you see, there is none here. But I think there should be because this one, it's in an armoire. So, like... We close this and it's it doesn't get ambient light. So when that single light kicks on or kicks off, it's like bing, nothing to brightness. That's not fun for anybody, right? That's not fun. So having a dawn to dusk 24 seven function lamp gives that soft creep into, you know, the, the full day sun. And then a soft decline from that to sunset. Right now we don't have that. So I will be buying a 24-7 Higer planted whatever plus light off Amazon. For this size tank, it will probably cost me 35 or 40 bucks. I'm not sure. I haven't checked. I don't care. I'm just going to buy it. I also need to buy some new test strips, so it's just time. Let's see. What else do I need? I probably need to pick up, ask around, see if anybody's got a 20-gallon a tank or so. Like I enjoy 20 talls. And that would be my new colony for these gup gups. And beyond that, yeah, it's just doing fine. Um, the lotuses are, are surviving for now, the cichlids. Everything's cool. So, thanks for watching, thanks for checking. Give me a like, subscribe, smash the thumb, smash the other stuff, hit the bell, make a comment. It will be appreciated. Love you guys. Catch you later.